Sup y'all, bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the John Bauza versus Michael Williams Jr. fight. Uh, fight ended in the fourth round and as you guys all saw, John Bauza knocked out Michael Williams with a big left hand. Knocked him down multiple times throughout the fight. I honestly lost count of how many times he went down in this fight. Um, but yeah, it, it was all John Bauza. He, he, was, he, he was putting a beating on Michael Williams Jr. Uh, by the way, to those who don't know, this fight took place over at the Garden, Madison Square Garden, New York City, New York. It was shown live on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, it's in the undercard of Lomachenko versus Komei. You can go to ESPN+, Plus right now to watch the whole entire uh, event uh, or watch later on on regular ESPN. But anyway, this fight between Bowser and Williams going into this fight, both fighters were undefeated. John Bowser was 15-0, now 16-0. Uh, BoxRec has yet to update it because the fight just ended minutes ago. Um... And yeah, the, Bowser was undefeated going into this fight. And same goes for Michael Williams Jr. Both were undefeated going into this fight. But if you look at Williams Jr.'s resume, I mean, uh, yeah, the, that, that level of opposition he's been fighting hasn't been all that great. As for John Bowser, you know, you can just tell by the the amount of wins and loses that, you know, they're at least, they're better. At least a, le a little better compared to the uh, levels of that um, Michael Williams Jr. was fighting uh, in his career. I mean, he's young. He's 22 years old. In my opinion, his dad should have thrown the towel earlier. The referee kept letting the fight continue. Gave plenty of chances for Michael Williams Jr. to do something. But he just kept getting dropped. Bowser kept landing that left hand. He landed the right hand. He, he landed like a little right hook that looked more like a jab. Like a, um, like a jab right hook in the early rounds. And he was able to knock down Williams. Like every single clean punch that he landed, Williams went down. Williams need to learn from that, work on his defense. Uh, you know, definitely a fight that he can learn a lot from and learn. From, you know, it's not the end of the world. Just because you lost doesn't mean, you know, I, like, I feel like the Floyd Mayweather era, Floyd Mayweather made it seem like once you lose, you're done. But that's not the case. Lo losing ain't that bad. It's not that bad. You learn a lot losing. And Williams can learn a lot from this fight. It will be a setback. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it will be a setback, but it's not the end of the world, especially for a 22 year old. Who, who can definitely rebound from this. Um, so they, they can definitely learn from it. Jan Bauza, first time seeing him fight. Um, is it my first? No, I've, I've definitely seen him before. He, he's fought in a lot of undercards for top rank, uh, at least the past year. Um, I've, I've definitely seen him before, but, you know, th this is my first time actually, make, I think, making a video about him. Um, in 16 and 0 now, seven wins coming by way of Naka Artigo from Puerto Rico. Uh, definitely somebody to keep an eye on. Uh, he's also from Jersey, North Bergen. That's where my wife is, you know, where she used to live. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely uh, somebody to keep an eye on. John Bauza. So, so yeah, good fight. Uh, you can watch it on ESPN Plus or wait till it's on YouTube. If you did see it, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.